Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your first half, first couple of weeks of May. Um, it's a weekly reading, but I'm going to cover the first couple of weeks because I've, you know, getting over this cold and I've been busy. And so let's just knock out the first two weeks. Here we go. May 1st through the 12th. New moon in Taurus coming up this week. This next week. <laughs> And um, let's tap into your energy for the first half of May. Four of Swords, Four of Cups, King of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords. Oh, I'm going to pull the Nine of Swords. Let's see. Two of Pentacles, the Lovers, the Empress. Let's see what last card comes out for you. You've got two fours here. You could be 44 years old. Angel number 444 or 44 could be significant to you. I love that you have the king of pentacles, though. It's given that uh, energy of stability, especially within your finances and in your home. Um, let's see. One more card. What is going on with your energy, Libra? And there it is. The death card. Death and rebirth, very strong energy of Scorpio. So if you have Scorpio in your chart, could be significant for you. But let's pull the energy of this card. It's your major arcana, which is the biggest energy of them all. The new moon in Taurus is definitely going to allow you to create this wonderful world of abundance that you so wish to seek, to grow, to step into. Uh, Taurus is very much about life's luxuries and stability in the home, finances, career, wealth, abundance, um, wanting to make big changes that create this life of abundance, of luxury, of not having to worry, uh, being in a good place um, when it comes to taking care of your financial needs and to taking care of your household, uh, feeling strong. And um, I'm hearing um, you're feeling, the word isn't abundant, but you're feeling very I'm only hearing part of the word here, but spirit is saying that um, there is this feeling of optimism about being able to create a whole new chapter in your life. The death card, which is a sign of rebirth, Scorpio here, is also very, very strongly saying you've got the light, the answers, the guidance from within that allow to bring in this hope, right? Hope that stems from wanting more, wanting something better on, you know, in your future, but not quite sure that you're going to be able to get there at the point that you've been wanting. So the death and rebirth card is your major arcana, the supporting cards here. If there has been some sort of feeling, uh, especially if you're in a relationship, marriage, partnership where... You have someone who's the breadwinner, whether you or them. I feel like there is this sense, this feeling of um, inadequacy or not making enough or not bringing enough to the table, uh, feeling like you want to be able to um, bring more, right? To I'm hearing you're, you're wanting to be a cooperative partner here. So that it doesn't feel like what you bring to the table isn't enough, right? Four of Swords and Four of Cups. So there is something that could have hurt your feelings, could have been an argument. Maybe um, at some point or another, you felt like um, you felt like you have not done enough. Um, there's this, this feeling of inadequacy here that leads to sadness and disappointment and emotional discord here because it feels as though you're bored with life. You're feeling unfulfilled. You want more for yourself. You want more for your life. And you're not quite sure how you're going to get there. You're not quite sure how you're going to make it happen. The King of Pentacles is saying, you know, your ideas, the brilliant ideas that you have, it's time to put them pen to paper. It's time to act on it. It's time to take action. You know, the King of Pentacles, he's got, he's like this wonderful businessman, a leader. He, he's got the bag in hand and you know, he looks like life, he looks like he's making it easy. Like life is good. Life is great. Um, I heard it's a magical way 
It's a magical way to make money is what I heard. I don't know what that means for you, Libra. It could be just for one person here. But there is this feeling of having this sense of magic and creating the life that you want and feeling like um, it almost sounds like it's unattainable like it would need to like you would have to be like um like this crazy magic wand or like one in a million chance of something like this manifesting or coming you know growing for you or coming across your path two of swords nine of swords right so two of swords is that feeling of um, not being able to move forward feeling like you're at a standstill, a lot of stagnancy here, and it's driving you nuts. It's driving you crazy. The Nine of Swords is really that, you know, late night, can't sleep at night, filled with worries, worrisome nights, and, you know, sleepless nights. I even feel like if you're not sleeping through the night, you're like waking up in between. Like maybe you're just like falling asleep for a good 30 minutes and then you wake up and you're awake for hours. And then by the time you fall back asleep, your alarm's about to go off and then you're just not sure how you can survive the day. There is this feeling of exhaustion. Um, I feel like you've got a lot on your mind that you feel like you're not willing to compromise, not willing to explore other options or avenues. So Spirit is saying don't be too dead set on something specific because um, doing more research and getting more answers can actually be to your benefit so that it's not compromising yourself, but rather compromising your position to get to an outcome that you feel good about, right? Not to get to an outcome where you lose and someone else wins, but to get to a point where you feel comfortable, okay? So here we go. These cards flew out. Page of Pentacles, the Empress card once again, and the Ten of Wands. Uh, if you are a mother or a mother figure, especially with Mother's Day coming up, um, you may be feeling like <clears throat> there's a lot of, you know, heavy burdens you've got a lot on your plate too many responsibilities maybe you've worked part-time your partner is the breadwinner and uh you're trying to figure out how to keep everything afloat at home there is this feeling of overwhelming anxiety that i'm feeling for you um it listen i just have to say it's okay to ask for help point blank period I feel like there is something here that either someone has said to you or alluded to, um, oh, you don't need help. You don't, you don't work full time. You don't, you know, blood, sweat, tears at, at your workplace. You don't do as much as I do, or you, you don't, you're not the breadwinner. You don't bring enough to the table. I, I get this feeling of, um, feeling like you're being shrunk and put down. And so, yeah, you're not really feeling good about yourself in this situation here let's see what the outcome is page of wands the world card beautiful things are definitely about to change this could be opportunities for advancement more money this could be um another job opportunity that comes through for you like a little side hustle maybe somebody hires you for like a couple like part-time gigs nothing like long term but it's enough to bring in additional money because i'm hearing that you want to travel Oh, beautiful. Though That's like the best possible outcome that you can possibly get in this reading, especially with all this feelings of, you know, boredom and uh, unfulfilled in your life and uh, sleepless nights, hurt, heartache, um, feeling like somebody else is in a position of comfort and stability and you're just kind of there. I don't know why that's coming up, but it, it, it feels as though you feel down about yourself because of it. However, your outcome cards here, the page of wands, that is good news, a new opportunity. That is something new that comes through for you. 
Again, this is good news of a job, a promotion, a new idea. This is collaborations. This could be you find out you're expecting a child or a child is coming into your family. Like you're going to be an auntie, an uncle, a grandparent, step parent, whatever it may be. Uh, Page of Wands with the World card. Now the World card, beautiful card. This is you upgrading your life. This is you entering a new chapter in your life. And of course, with the Death and Rebirth card, heck yeah, you are. Things are changing like huge huge for the better look at all that gold that solar plexus chakra energy this is the sun card the sun card is the happiest card in the deck joyous momentous occasions happiness this is absolutely if you've been waiting on news of something I'm hearing some of you may be waiting on news about either, um, you know, a health issue that you get good news about uh, whether or not you passed a test, an exam that puts you into uh, another category, maybe to put you in the running for a promotion, whatever this is for some of you, I'm hearing it's good news. If you are waiting or you've been waiting to find out if you're expecting and that's the news that you've been wanting, again, I'm hearing this is literally bringing a whole new chapter into your life, bringing in a new life into this era of your life. Now, these two cards, of course, the death and the rebirth, along with the world card, uh, double dose of um, moving upwards in your life. Now, <clears throat> the world card is the end of a cycle. You're stepping into a whole new chapter. And of course, the death card came up first, letting you know that there are things that need to come to an end. Um, things that you've got to leave behind, mindsets, bad habits, lifestyles, situations. Um, if you are reinforcing those uh, feelings of insecurity, being put down, things of that nature, all of that needs to be left behind. It's time for you to step into the better version of you, the more successful version of you, the healed version of you, the abundant version of you, the version of you that's making more money than ever before, the version of you that's happily married and raising a family, the version of you that's a successful business owner. The world card is saying old cycles have come to an end and it's time for you to step into that. So like I said, these are some of the best cards that you can get for your outcome as we approach mid-May. So let me pull from the Energy Oracle to wrap this up. And if you haven't given this a thumbs up, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Double tap that bell to get notified of all the readings. Financial constraints. I'm telling you, there was something here about whether or not you were bringing enough money into the picture. You could be in a tight budget. Maybe you've overspent what you currently own and or what you currently earn and perhaps your partner or parents, or room, roommate is like the breadwinner. You're feeling like, when are these financial constraints going to end? I've got the hiccups, the hiccups now, and I don't want to hiccup on, sorry, on camera. So clearly this is like, coming through very, very strongly, feeling like no matter how much you make, it's never enough. You don't have enough to save. You want to be able to, you know, experience some new stuff this summer. This, you know, I feel like there's a lot here that you want to do for yourself, for your family, your friends. You want to travel. You want to purchase something. Perhaps you've overspent. You've overgiven. Um, I do feel that that card of financial constraints, number one, if you are in a good place financially, it is a warning not to overspend, to stick to a budget, okay? Because there could be things that may come up for you that you may not be anticipating or prepared for. Now, if you have been having financial troubles, uh, it is giving that feeling of it's time to uh, keep a better eye on your finances. 
ease up on the frivolous or extra spending. Um, pack a lunch. Just try not to go out as much. Uh, try not to, you know, do whatever you can to save up on that. Look at that. Two more cards came out. I meant to only take one more, but I, I mean, I, I've got to take these two. They look amazing. Door to personal healing and happiness and the card of victory. So clearly things are absolutely changing for the better. It does feel like as you, you know, decide to remove yourself from unwanted situations, people, places, things, scenarios, mindsets, as you start to make changes that affect your personal growth you set this tone you set this example you set the energetic alignment for you towards victory and success so i do love this reading for you libra i hope this resonates let me know down below remember that if you're not following me over on instagram i am a virgo angel tarot i do post additional content there and i've got a few appointments i may not be opening up anymore after this month so get them while you can uh i've got a lot coming Coming up this summer and I'm trying to figure out when I can schedule if I do schedule any uh, appointments in June or July. I'm sending you guys so much love. Have a great first half of May and I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.